a hike in Austria that became insta-famous. This is Operahut. Located amongst the Zillertal Alps, near the border with Italy, this hike, made famous from the Instagrammable suspension bridge, is one of the most searched routes online. With an elevation gain of 620 meters and a distance of 6.9 kilometers, this three and a half hour day hike gives you some of the best views of the Austrian Alps overlooking the mighty Schlegeis Reservoir. In this video, we'll take you guys along this incredible hike from start to finish while planting seeds of much needed information along the way. The suspension bridge is what most people come here for, but the views you get throughout are some of the most captivating we've ever seen. Let's begin our adventure in the best town to stay in before the trek, Meyerhofen. Good morning from the quaint town of Meerhofen. By the way guys, this is by far the best town to stay in if you're planning on doing this hike. It's only a 30 minute drive to the trailhead or during a high season, you can take bus number 4102 that takes you there as well. We're just about to head out to Schlegei Stausi, the beautiful reservoir that this hike overlooks. And the trailhead for Opererhut is right from there. If you just type in Opererhut trailhead on Google Maps, it'll take you right to that location. The day is looking so beautiful and I think the ride over is going to be spectacular. So there is a toll road that you have to pay for in order to reach the trailhead or the reservoir in general. And it costs $15.50 per vehicle and slightly cheaper if you have a motorcycle. Now, of course, if you take the bus, you do not have to pay for the toll road as that price is already baked into the price of your bus ticket. is freezing this morning. It's literally at freezing point at zero degrees Celsius. And it's the one day I forget to bring my toque. So I'm looking super ridiculous in this large hood, but at least the hike is pretty steep the whole way. So it'll warm me right up. There are actually four different paths that you can take to get up to Oberhut. Now, the most popular one, the one that we're doing right now, is the shortest, but the steepest one. So this is gonna take about three hours round trip, decent elevation gain, but honestly, three hours makes a great short day hike. We're so glad that we made this hike just two days before it's supposed to close. We're already seeing some snow on the ground and hopefully it doesn't get snowier the more we gain elevation. But I will actually link in the description the website that we used to know when this road is actually open. It was so useful and it actually gives you proper updates. After 15 minutes of climbing and now the sun's out, look at her. His jacket's already unzipped. Honestly, she needed that toque for maybe like five minutes at the beginning of this hike. Cause you definitely don't need it now, even though it's still a little bit chilly. You definitely don't feel that way on this hike. Nope. So it is highly recommended guys, especially if you come here in the later season, as you can see with the amount of snow there is on the ground. As Lauren's posing with her hiking shoes, it is highly recommended. Make sure to bring your hiking shoes. Maybe you can get away with sneakers during the summer, but definitely not the winter. 
while this path definitely is the shortest and most direct route as you guys can see it is quite steep as you go up you're gonna go all the way this way until you eventually reach the saddle right over here Yep, just as expected, there is so much snow on the ground as we're getting further up, but it does add to the scenery, makes it a lot more beautiful. This is so crazy. Down there we were absolutely freezing, but I already had to take off my jacket and wear a t-shirt because when the sun comes out and especially when it reflects onto the snow, it just heats up your body so much. But I think we are nearing the top or we may be just halfway. halfway. Lauren says we're only halfway up. Oh, not we're not even halfway up? Okay, we're not even halfway up. It really got so bright with the sun reflecting on the snow. We had to pull out the sunglasses, but we're almost there. Look, you can see the height. And right up, you can see the little suspension bridge where everyone's taking photos. That's where we're going to head to right now. made it to the hut and most importantly the suspension bridge which is about a hundred meters from the hut and the view here is so phenomenal you get like I shall see right in the middle of the valley of Sillertal Alps now with the suspension bridge you can kind of see the reality and what you kind of see online if you shoot the suspension bridge at a certain angle it looks like you're dangling completely off of a cliff when really you're about two meters off of the ground so it is a hundred percent safe and you also saw in the video how many people lined up, including us, in order to get that phenomenal shot that everybody came here for. During the summer months, the hut is actually open for overnight stays, and there's also a restaurant. It's about noon. It would have been lovely for us to enjoy a bite to eat, but unfortunately it's the end of October and the hut is currently closed. To be honest, we were a little bit worried about how much snow was on the way up. And we were worried about slipping on the way down. But it turns out that the sun melted it all. So if you're a little bit concerned about hiking in the snow, especially if you're hiking this trail later in the season, like we are, then just come later in the afternoon so long as the sun is out. After the hike, if you still have a little bit of energy left over, you can walk the entire south side of the lake. But if you're feeling a little bit lazy, you can drive all the way to where the glacier feeds the reservoir. But a more popular thing to do is actually walk along the dam. And that's where we're gonna be heading to next.
This dam is so huge and the walkway is so wide, allowing us to be able to walk freely along it. And you can walk from one end all the way to the other, giving you views not only of the lake and the mounds on one side, but the valley on the other. Now during high season, there's actually a lot of activities you can do here. There's a zip line, a free fall, there's a via ferrata. There's also like a rock climbing wall. Like there's actually so much to do in this entire area. We honestly can't wait to come back in the summer where we can experience all of those things. But so far, it's been a great day.